So I'm asking um, Judge Albright and court. I have nothing to say to the defendant. Jeremy Christian stabbed my brother Felicia in the neck, causing him to die on May 26, 2017. Since that time, my life and the lives of my family are forever altered by his cowardly acts. Felician's older brother, Felician was an intelligent and passionate visionary heading towards a bright future. I've heard my sister Vajra and my mother speak um, about him, so I think you have a good sense of the incredible human that he was. He had a vision of a hopeful future for the world, proje projected from a pure heart, and was working to realize this vision. His brilliant essay on environmental action, which is one of the most brilliant pieces of, of writing that I've personally read, um, the honor of admission into Reed College as, a, as the only high school senior of that year. Extremely proud of him and everything he stood, up, stood for, and especially his acts, dying acts, stood up to protect Destiny and Malia against the violent racist threat that was being perpetrated against them. Felician's death has affected me to the depths of my soul. I love my brother deeply and I miss him every day. He's also with me, always. Much worse than my own direct experience of Felician's death is the of my family. My mother, Felician's father, has seven remaining siblings, my nieces and nephews, and for my own immediate family, my wife, my seven-year-old daughter, and my eight-month-old daughter. I'm afraid about my family's mental, emotional, and physical health and overall well-being. My mother, who shows up strong every day, you just heard her speak. Life is dedicated to her children beside her sons taking firm. My sisters and my brother have lost their brother in a violent way. They live with that for the rest of their lives. We're all very close to deletion, and many of them are now in therapy and having ongoing anxiety and other issues, although they're all and know will ways to get through life. My wife is affected emotionally. She's very close. Then she's only three years old. She grew into an amazing young man. We all did. As a mother, she worries for her own world. My daughter Vail, the old decision of her and we often video chatted. She learned much too young, cruel reality that her favorite uncle died and his life was taken by another person. Two years later, when we felt she was able to know, we told her that he was killed by being stabbed in the neck. We have done her best to soften her experience while allowing her to know the truth. The truth is that we should stood up for people when it mattered most. She asked often about him. She often faced down in tears. I asked her what's wrong, and she said she missed his solution. Undoubtedly, Felician's death has affected her deeply and will have a lasting effect on her life. I'm sure this is also the case with my nieces and nephews. Younger ones will never know their uncle and only know the story. They will always know a piece of her. Thankful for the great work done by the detectives, district attorney and his team, um, Aaron, our family attorney, our court team, but especially the jury, a very difficult task. All the brave witnesses who come to testify. Nonetheless, the last three years waiting for justice has been torturous. Our lives will be forever scarred by the loss of Talisha and Ricky Best. We expect now that Jeremy Christian will never be allowed to be in a position to do harm to any other person again, and he will receive the fullest weight of his actions.